The Bear, Season 2, Episode 8. Thoughts, this episode is called Bolognese, and, or Bolognese, as one certain Scream Queen's character might put it. Another episode I love, spoilers for this episode and all the ones leading up to it. Before I dive in, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the Say After Strikers, I implore you to do so, and then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. And, let's... So, so yeah, at the start of the episode, we have Carmi and Claire, and I really appreciate that it's a lot of the scene is shot in this very tight close-up as the two characters are very close to each other. It gives the sense of intimacy that, you know, yeah, the... Based on the fact that they are both in his home and she's not fully dressed, I'm going to make what I believe is not a gigantic leap in logic and say they are together. And, you know, yeah, it, there is an intimacy there. So, yeah, the, the camera work and editing do a great job reflecting that. I gotta say, at, at one point, she, you know, he says he's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Or, you know, that's what he means. She She's the one who says, so that's where your head's at. And she describes utter shoe pandemonium. I am I am not okay with the idea that nobody's keeping track of shoes. That is deeply disturbing. And he explains about the fire suppression, which is, of course, quite important, so that later on, when we're looking at this tiny balloon, we're not like, the fuck am I looking at? What is this? You know, he... He explains it very clearly. You know, it is crucial that the balloon not pop. You know, and yeah. It could have felt very hand holdy, but you know, he's explaining it to her, so it's it's perfectly fine. And Ibra, you know, comes back to the, the restaurant and you know asks this you know, this used to be a nice restaurant, what happened to it? People kept robbing it, and alternatively driving their cars through it. Fucking Paul Demius Anderson. Anyway, he, you know, he and Tina have a conversation. They use, like, what's the word? You know, they use metaphor, or, or the. They're not being direct, but they're probably being as direct as he can currently muster up. You know, and both of them clearly do realize what the other is, is conveying. And, yeah, he explains why he has, you know, why he disappeared. And, yeah, they make up. It's, it's really great to see. I like that Tina is still saying Jeff, in, you know, she's fully accepted both Carmi and Sydney by now. She's still saying Jeff. Just, yeah, love it. And I can't put into words how much I love that when Richie and Carmi make it, you know, when, when they're like, okay, you know what, we can, we can do this. We have a plan, we're going to do this. They, they quote Blues Brothers back and forth to each other, you know, which... I'm not from Chicago. I understand that to the people of Chicago, that movie is even more epic. Which I, I don't know how that's possible, but apparently it is even more epic to the people of Chicago than it is to myself. Just, yeah, absolutely love it. And that is about... Right, and and Sydney is like Marcus. Why didn't you say hi when you you know came in? Is this some sort of Danish custom, dude? I'm gonna let it go because the show has said a lot of positive things about Denmark. I'm I'm joking. The show is joking. I'm joking. And yeah, um, I liked the bringing in the freshman. Which, you know, I, I swear one of them was, like, 
on some on some college humor stuff. Maybe that game show where they have to uh, not game show the the show where they have to convince the others that they're not the one who's high. I, th I think it's something like that. Cannot find her name in the credits at all. I I don't know, but yeah. Um, I, I hope she gets lines next time we see her. It was very funny that they're standing like, they're, you know, standing stock still there, and, and Tina comes out looking like the fucking drill instructor or something. And, yeah, Richie is going to apologize to Sugar, and she wants a witness. And he's also like, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hmm. And and you know his it is a genuine apology and it's showing a lot of self reflection. <laughs> I like when Sydney you know she's she's looking at like Carmi's drawings and she's like what the, what is this Sistine Chapel shit like you've got shading in there <laughs> oh so so we're running our menu by Claire now is that it. And, you know, they do end up, you know, she does the, she does the sign on her chest thing that, you know, the first time he showed it, she thought, you know, are you having a heart attack? But yeah, you know, and, and yeah, both of them explain that I've, I've been really stressed. I've been, I've been tired. I'm sorry I blew up at you. And and the thing with you know you you gotta find out if Claire is your girlfriend or or a girl that's your that's a friend, you know that uh, yeah running throughout the episode. <clears throat> and Richie doesn't want them to hire that one seemingly very qualified, you know, because candidate because she. She didn't unfuck the napkin that he fucked. And Yeah, and and Carmi and, and Fact talk about the the girlfriend, you know, how do you find out? And and yeah, all this stuff. And yeah, Jimmy and Sugar meet and we get a new you know, yeah, for sure, like they do really have to open in 10 days, or they are fucked. And... I'm not going to repeat it, but the lightning... I can appreciate the, the you know... If you want to do, like, offensive... You know, because you understand why, why Neil is saying it. You know, so, yeah, he says it several times, and each time he gets chewed out for it, and finally he explains why he's saying it, you know, and, yeah, it was, it was, I laughed, I did, but yeah, it was, it was really a great, you know, that is the thing that, you know, it hadn't really dawned on, I'll, I'll admit it hadn't dawned on me, I, I guess it's possible other viewers had, but, but yeah. Obviously, when Mikey tried to burn the place down, he, you know, fucked the fire suppression system. And and now that they know that, you know, FAC can, can go and fix it. So, yeah, that was a, a great, you know, I'm, I'm really glad it wasn't just a, oh, you know, what is, it just came, you know, without anything, it just worked out. And uh, what was the th and and the fact that he got the idea from the picture that's partially burned, you know why why is it burnt? Because Mikey was a psycho or, or crazy, so, something like that, you know. On on drugs, some something. And yeah, and and when he explained, you know, yeah, Fack explains to Richie. About you know he's gonna unfuck the, the fire suppression system, and Richie responds, "Make it so." Quality Star Trek reference. Let's see, and yeah, so the 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 examiner is what he's credited as shows up. Lance Baker, cool to see him again in a thing. 
and yeah, he, you know, yeah, fires up the thing, and we get these, you know, several of the characters, we get these flashes of memories, and just, yeah, the relief when, you know, there is a path, just the, I, I don't, I'm guessing in real life they probably also do the fact that he's count verbally counting down from ten to to zero is is just it makes it so much better than it would be if if not you know it works really well for you know like because we need a, some kind of verbal or doesn't have to be verbal but audio based indication of how much time is left you know wouldn't work as well if they like superimposed a, a number counting down on the screen or something I gotta call my girlfriend <laughs> great and and you know um, the examiner gets a hug as well because they're so relieved <laughs> you know it's not that he did something but it's just you know when you're in a hugging mood yeah yeah, uh, really excellent episode. I am, yeah, it's just, it's such a relief that they did pass the time. I mean, uh, you know, if they hadn't, I have no idea what they would do for the last two episodes of the season. But even so, like, there was a lot of tension around that. I enjoyed all the reactions to Richie wearing a suit. Was it, I think it was Tina who said, did you just come from a funeral? And he responds, the funeral of all my enemies. And let's see. Is it Sydney who says you, you look good in a suit or you're, you wear it well, something like that? Right. It was very funny when Neil asks Sugar, can my sister come to you know, family, what was it, for? yeah, so, you know, some kind of family function at the, and she was like, fancy fact, no, she fucking can't, is this because the, it's, is it because of the thing, get the fuck out of here, you know, just, you know, and, right, and when, when Carmi finds fact, and, is like, are, you, are you hiding, yeah, you too? Um, I think that might be everything for this one, but, but yeah, um, next episode I will cover sometime next week, I uh, will see what exact day of the week it will turn out to be, so yeah, until then. Always have a witness when someone apologizes who has really, really struggled to apologize in the past.